And that's why ministries go down. But you see how many people have forsaken me and I'm still alive. Not only that, but prosperous. More millions of dollars have come into my ministry during COVID than the whole history of my ministry. Why? Because God sustains this ministry. I've been on my knees for two years, haven't went out to preach nowhere, and millions of dollars are still coming in. More than I've ever seen in the history of my ministry. When persecution broke out against me a few years ago, When y'all know people started saying all kind of evil stuff against me. This evil gospel artist speaking evil about me that I, I helped her. The moment that persecution broke out, God had somebody to sow one billion, one point four billion dollars in land into our ministry. But, oh, you got a lot of the pastors after this. I said, oh, he going through persecution. They, oh, his ministry is dead. It's going down. That's not, no, sir, Jack. No, sir. That ain't happening here. Because I have the honor that come from God only. I don't operate on the favor of man. And not even the realm of just the favor of God. There is a higher thing than the favor of God. It's called the honor that comes from God only. Jesus mentioned this in John When you have God with you only, you have the power of one. God can do what he wants to do at any time because you're in agreement with him. And I want to say thank you for all of the people that are watching me now, that you've been faithful. You've been through persecution with your families. They tried to turn you against this ministry because all the stuff they saw online. And I understand this generation. They believe anything that's out there online. They have no integrity. And even if I was wrong, it is still wrong to talk against a man of God. How are you going to follow people like that? Number one, they're liars. How you believe anything out there on social media? You don't know these people just because they're saying God is exposing. It's the prophetic. No, that's pathetic. Can you imagine Jesus having a ministry in this generation? Do you think he would be on YouTube? saying I'm a prophet and I'm called to expose all of you. He wouldn't be doing that. You know that ain't Jesus. Why would you follow people like that? They are liars. Stop following that stuff. You're going to be judged. If you judge, you will be judged. And I'm trying to teach you, you can't live like that. If you live by judging others, God going to judge you. If you live by exposing others, God going to expose you. Whatever mercy you show, it's going to boomerang back to you. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall what? Obtain mercy. He says, judge not, least you be what? Judge. This is a two-edged sword. Whatever you preach comes back to you. It's coming to you, so be careful. You know you're not perfect. You know you ain't perfect. You know you've made mistakes. Do not get out of here and act like you're holy because that same word is going to boomerang. It's a two-edged sword. It's going to cut you. And believe me, you need a lot of mercy. That's for you need to give it. You need a lot of love. That's why you need to give it. And Jesus, the main one who had no sin, was willing to walk in mercy and love and not judge nobody. Who are you who has was born in sin? Who are we? We are nothing. Lift your hands right now. This was one of the main things the Lord began to speak to me in this generation. He says, you must warn them that a lot of Christians are going to hell because they are judging others. YouTube and Facebook and this freedom people got to get out here and say anything it's going to take them to hell I'm telling you I love you and I want to preserve your soul don't follow these people don't follow how they are doing things don't follow this 21st century church do it Jesus way do it Jesus way Then the Lord gave me this revelation. I haven't even got into the message yet. If you come from a religious church that was hard, 
on everybody. Believe me, I believe in holiness. I believe in righteousness. But I don't believe we have the power to judge people when they sin. That ain't right. We have the power to restore them. We have the power to forgive them. But God did not give us the right to be like him. Let me show you the deception that's going on with the holy church or those who think they are they are they are so up there and then i'm gonna get into the message but god told me to deal with this remember this i've heard people say well they were wrong and i'm gonna preach the word the bible says cursed is the man who watch this who do not live by everything in this book this law to do them if you preach the law instead of grace and mercy from God, and I'm not talking about greasy grace, where you don't deal with and correct sin. I correct sin. I correct wrong. I'm correcting right now. But I don't judge. Because see, that's when you start judging, that's when you get into sin. You say, how? Because the law is right. But and the, what, the law is holy and perfect, but you are not. A lot of people say, well, this is God's word. That's right. That's God. That's Jehovah's word. But you were not called to walk in the footsteps of Jehovah. You was called to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. That's why if you don't know all three of the Godhead, you get this mixed up. You say, what are you talking about? God cannot look upon sin. He cannot stand sin. And some of you act like, I just can't stand sin. Look, And you know you've been in stuff and you don't know how to show mercy to nobody. That is hypocrisy. You are not called to be like God. You're called to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. What is the footsteps of Jesus? To walk in mercy, even though you know good and evil. Even though you know what's wrong. Even though you know their sin. Even though... You know the infirmity. It says we have not a high priest that cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. But was tempted in all points but without sin. And yet he still shows mercy. He still walks in love. Yes, in the Old Testament. You remember the woman caught in adultery? She was caught, listen. There was no there was no rumors on YouTube and Facebook and people saying she was committed. They caught her in the act. They, they caught her in the act. I, I'm afraid some of these people believe anything they hear. And I rebuke people. I said, you never seen me do that. You just heard people say stuff. You didn't catch me in the act of nothing. You didn't see me do that. How can you believe liars? Liars. 